You ever found yourself nodding along to a story, maybe in a podcast, maybe a YouTube short, whatever it might be, only to find that later on you discovered that there's this whole other side you hadn't even considered? Here's the thing. In a world drowning in information, it's easy to take things, well, at face value. But what if I told you that the real story, the full picture, is often hidden beneath the surface? Yeah, just, just underneath there. Well, today we're peeling back the layers. We're going to be challenging the status quo and discovering the power of healthy skepticism. Stick around because you're about to see the world in a whole new light. Hey there, audacious parents. Welcome to the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast, where we're not just about surviving, we're about thriving. If you're tuning in, you're not looking for just another feel-good, pat-on-the-back kind of show. No. You're here because you're ready to disrupt the status quo. You're ready because you're here to challenge your limits and to step out of the comfort zone where we know growth never happens. This is not just your average, let's all be happy with our nine to five lives kind of podcast. We're here to give you actionable strategies. We're here to dive deep into the world of side hustles, digital marketing, and smart income boosting tactics. Why you may ask? Because we're designed for parents like you. Parents juggling family expenses, child care, and the elusive me time. We're not just about making money, though. We're about designing a life. A life that you dictate. Not one that's been prepackaged in a soul-sucking 95 box. So, if you're ready to break free and design a life that aligns with your dreams, design a life that aligns with your family, you're in the right place. The Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. What is up? What is up? What the heck is up, my success seekers and success champions? Welcome back to another episode of the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. Yep, it's the place where we help you unlock your true potential and transform your dreams into reality. I'm your host, Tracy Brinkman, and today we've got a topic that's going to challenge you. It's going to inspire you and maybe even change the way you see the world around you. You know, I've always... I wasn't always the guy who questioned everything. There was a time when I took things right at face value, just like many of us have. But then there was this one moment, a turning point, you might say, that made me realize the power of a little healthy skepticism. I was about to make a, let's call it a significant investment based solely on a recommendation. But something inside me said, dig a little deeper, Tracy. Right? You know, we're talking about that that gut feeling you get inside every once in a while. Sometimes we ignore it. Don't ignore it, by the way. And thank goodness I didn't ignore it. It turned out to be a well-disguised scam. That experience taught me that there's often more than meets the eye. And really, if you think about it, it's your job. It's my job to uncover it. Now, as we continue along here, let's ask the question. What does it mean to be a healthy skeptic? Why not want to be so skeptic that you just miss certain things? But there's a healthy level of skepticism, isn't there? It's not about doubting everything and everyone. It's not about settling for the surface level information, right? It's about firing up your curiosity and seeking the full story. Like my man Harvey used to say, and now for the rest of the story, right? You know what I'm talking about? And making informed decisions based on a more full and complete picture. Well, in today's world where information is thrown at us from every direction, it's almost often like drinking from a fire hose. This skill of being a healthy skeptic, I think it's even more crucial than ever. So buckle up, my friends, as we dive into the world of over-communication, uncover the masks, and learn how to navigate through the noise with a healthy dose of skepticism. So, my success seekers, let's get real for a moment, shall we? The Dark Horse the Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. We live in an era of over-communication. There is so much information out there. We're talking television, we're talking movies, we're talking social media, you name it. They're all vying for our attention. They're all trying to tell us something. They're all bombarding us with messages and stories and information and narratives and agendas, whatever it might be. But have you ever just stopped to think about the impact this constant stream of information has on you, on me, on your kids, on those you love? How about how it shapes our perceptions, how it shapes our beliefs, and even how it changes the very actions we take in our day-to-day lives. 
It's like we're drinking from a fire hose, like I mentioned earlier, and it's really super easy to get overwhelmed, to get inundated. I remember one time when I came across a news story in social media, it was a compelling tale. It was full of drama and intrigue, and it, it had everyone talking about it. But something, something in there just didn't sit right with me. So, put on my skeptic hat, grabbed my skeptic shovel, and I started digging. And you know what I found out? The story was only telling one side of the equation. Oh, yeah, this happens a lot, doesn't it? It was leaving out some crucial details that would have changed the entire narrative. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me, right? It really, it was a stark reminder that in this world of overcommunication, we have to be ever vigilant. We need to question what we see. We need to question what we hear, not to be contrarian, but to ensure that we're getting the full story. Now, to every bad story, there may be a slight salt grain of good. And the reverse is probably true. To every good story, there may be a slight salt grain of bad. But when we get the full story, we empower ourselves to make decisions based on truth, not what's trending on Google Trends. Mm -mm, no, no. So, as we navigate through the noisy world, I want you to remember one thing. Don't take everything at face value. Be a little curious, be a little skeptical, but mostly I want you to be informed. So hang around, don't go anywhere yet. We're going to dive a little deeper into why it's so easy to take things on face value and how we can train ourselves to see a little past the surface. Oh, man, I, I don't know what it is. Something about these episodes just get me all pumped up and ready to go. So here we are. We've explored the overwhelming world of overcommunication. Boy, say that three times fast. And now I want us to turn the mirror to ourselves. Yeah. Why? Well, because as much as we'd like to think we are always rational, as much as we'd like to think we are always discerning, the truth is we're just kind of wired to take things at face value. You see, our brains are like these incredible machines, but they're also wired for efficiency. When we see something or hear a story, our default mode is belief. It's just how we're wired. It's like this survival mechanism from way back when, where questioning every little detail meant the difference between life and death. So you had to make these snap decisions. But here's the catch. The dark horse... The Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. In today's far more complex world, this tendency can completely lead us astray. It can make us vulnerable to misinformation. Mm, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right? It can make us vulnerable to one-sided stories and to the masks that people wear and hide behind. Now, I'm sure we've all been there, right? We, we've heard a story. We've seen a post. And we've instantly formed... An opinion. But my success seekers, my success champions, I am here to tell you there is a power in pausing, in questioning, in digging just a little deeper to uncover the full story. Now you'll notice I'm not saying the truth because sometimes, quite often, they're giving you the truth, just not getting you all of it. And it, again, I want you to remember it's not about being cynical or distrusting. It's about empowering ourselves to see beyond the surface, to understand the nuances and the complexities of a given situation. Because when we do, we open ourselves up to a world of understanding, a world of empathy, and to some true connection. So, let's make a pact, shall we? Right here, right now. Let's vow to fire up our curiosity. Let's vow to challenge our assumptions. And let's vow to always seek the full story because, my friends, that is where the real magic is. And speaking of magic, we're going to be exploring the incredible benefits of seeing the full picture here in just a minute. So trust me, you don't want to go anywhere. Hang around. Stay right there where you are. Okay. Now, quick reminder. I know we're only nine minutes in this. I want you to I want to drive this home because we've talked about the world of overcommunication and our tendency to just see things at face value. It's kind of how we're wired. Remember, right? I want to dive into the good stuff, the benefits of seeing the full picture. 
It's easy to make assumptions based on a partial story. We've all done it, right? But when we step back and we choose to dig a little deeper and we choose to understand the core of a situation, the core of a person, well, that's when we start to uncover the gold. I remember a time when I met someone who, on the surface, was really difficult to get along with. But instead of completely writing them off and saying, I I don't have time for this, I decided to dig a little deeper to understand their story. I decided to understand their motivations. And here's what I found. There was a person with a heart of gold who had been through so much shit in their lives, right? The caca, they just had to wade through it. And they just needed someone to see beyond the mask that they held up for the world. See, to me, this is a powerful reminder that when we choose to see the full picture, we open ourselves up to connection. We open ourselves up to empathy and we open ourselves up to a a wonderful world of possibilities. We realize that there's more to people than just meets the eye and that everyone has a story worth listening to. Everyone has a story worth understanding. So, my driven champions, as we navigate this noisy world, let's remember the power of seeing the full picture. Let's recognize the masks that are being held up out there and dive a little deeper and uncover the true stories that lie beneath the surface. Because when we do, we create a world of understanding. We create a connection and we create a true opportunity for success. The Dark Horse... The Dark Horse Entrepreneur Podcast. Now, we've come to one of my favorite parts of the show, the Whiskered Wisdom. Yeah, this is where I share a little nugget of wisdom that you can take away and apply in your life right now. Right after listening to the podcast, just because you took the time to be here. And today's top tip, well, my friends, it comes straight from the heart. Never stop at the surface. Always be willing to dig deeper and uncover the full story and understand the core of a situation or of a person. In a world that often values speed over depth, it's easy to just to skim the surface. Yeah, just to scratch right there on top and take things at face value. But the real treasures, yeah, you got to work for those. The real connections, you got to go a little deeper. They lie under the surface. They come when we take the time to ask the questions, to get to know, to dig deeper, and to truly listen. How can you apply this in your daily life? Well, let's start by challenging your assumptions. When you hear a story or you meet someone new, ask yourself, what's the rest of the story? What's beneath the surface? And then take the time to listen. Take the time to empathize and take the time to understand. Because when you do, you open yourself up to a world of deeper connections, a world of richer experiences, and a world of true understanding. And here's the thing. Wouldn't you want someone to do that for you? Mm, Yeah, think about it. The surface is just the starting point, my friends. The real journey, the real discovery, that happens when we dive and dig a little deeper. So, dive deeper. Oh, man. Phew. We've really really been on one today, haven't we? We've navigated the noisy world of overcommunication. We've challenged our tendency to just take things at surface value and discovered the incredible benefits of seeing the full picture, of wanting to see the full picture. Shared with you a couple of my own experiences. The times when being a healthy skeptic has opened up my eyes and really, if I'm honest with you, completely changed my life. And I encourage you, each and every one of you listening right now, to embrace this mindset in your own lives. Remember, it's it's not about doubting everything. No, no. It's about seeking understanding. It's about digging deeper to uncover the full story, whether you like it or not. You may still have the same opinion at the end of it, but at least you have the facts, right? Just the facts, ma'am. It's about recognizing the masks that people wear, understanding the core, and creating a deeper connection in every aspect of your life. Relationships, your spiritual connections, your business connections. So, my champions, as we wrap up today's episode, I'm going to challenge you to take this wisdom to apply it in your life and see the world in a whole new light. And don't forget, if you have a story that you want to share, a question that you want to ask, or a topic that you'd like us to cover, well then head on over to the website. Link will be down in the show notes. 
darkhorseentrepreneur.com. And you'll see a little microphone down there at the right-hand corner. Go ahead and click that and leave us a voicemail. Ask your question. Share your story. Tell me the topic you want us to cover, whatever it might be. And, of course, let's make sure you share this podcast with those that you know will get value from it. See, here's the thing. This podcast just is not about me getting on this microphone and sharing my thoughts. Ultimately, to me, it's about you. It's about us. It's about this incredible community of champions coming together to learn and grow and succeed. So don't be shy. Your voice, your story could be the inspiration that someone else out there needs to hear. Let's spread the word and create a movement of champions, all striving for success, all digging deeper to uncover the truth. And lastly, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Your support means the world to me, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And here's the ultimate reason, because it helps us reach more success champions just like you. So until next time, keep challenging that status quo, keep seeking the truth, and keep striving for the success in every aspect of your life. You got this, my friends. Think successfully and take action. Hey, my Dark Horse Entrepreneur parents, thanks for tuning in. If this episode struck a chord, share it with a fellow parent hustler. Let's grow our tribe that thrives, not just survives. For more insights and a community that totally gets it, join our Facebook group at www.darkhorseschooling.com backslash tribe. Think successfully and take action.